Hey, what's up, masters? My name is George, and this is SAS Master. Today, I want to show you a text. Now, this is a game changer for saving time. Now, it's only $5. Yeah, you heard me right. There's no upsells, there's no extras, there's nothing else. You just pay five bucks and you have it. And it's available for Windows and Mac. Now, a couple of months ago, I was telling my friends, hey, you got to check this out. You got to use it. I even made a short video for them. And as soon as they bought it, it's like, hey, you know what? You were right. I needed to buy this. So once you check this out and you install it, what you're going to be able to do is save a lot of time because you're going to have written text already written and ready. Now, you might say, hey, you know what? Apple has this. It's called Text Expander or Text Expanding. It's something like that. But this is way more complex and it does way more than you might think or what Apple already does. Now, the best way to explain this is to jump into my desktop and show you what it actually does. But before I jump into the, my desktop, I have to tell you, this is one of those products that you have to buy and it's super recommended. So let's jump into my desktop. All right, guys, this is my desktop and this is Atex. Their website is trankinam.com. Now I'm gonna leave that link in the description. It's not affiliate. I'm just really glad and help you guys to find this software. So like I said, it's only five bucks and no upsells, no nothing. You just buy it and you get everything and the updates are included. All right, let's close this. So I got a open here, a word page. And what we're going to do is we're going to open a text, which I already installed. And you're going to find that little icon here on the top. It's a little a that you're going to find right here. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to say show a text. So this is a text. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create brand new a text so you can see how they expand when I use them. So for example, we have several type of ATEX. One is the basic. So for example, basic is after typing, it's gonna expand what you want. Now it could be a whole phrase, it could have a phrase and it could have some input labels, it can do some, um, some keynotes on it also. I'll show you that in a bit. There's also the expand after space. So for example, let's just say some words, you don't want it to expand, but un until you click space. Now, maybe a short word would be, uh, let's just say application, right? And you want to use a short way that short key that says APP, right? So you don't want it to expand unless you hit APP and then space, and then it'll expand the text. I'm probably confusing you guys. Let me do this. All right. So let's start with the basic and let's add a brand new one. So let's add a brand new one right here. And the abbreviation for this one, the alias, it, we're just going to say, it's going to be K, 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 four Ks. All right, not three. And what I want is when I type four times K, I want it to expand this. <clears throat> and I just say test thing. All right, testing this plus this and then do this, right? This, this is something really simple. Uh, and do this. This is just something really simple. I'm going to show you what that does. All right. So when we click, when we type four times K, now this is my site right here, not my page. One, two, three, four. It expanded. Did you see that? Now this could be a whole phrase. I mean, a whole book or whatever you want, and it's going to expand it. I use it to for, for my proposals when I do a proposal for a video or something like that. I send this out. Now that's the basic one, but. You can do this with Apple, with native Apple settings, and I'll show you that right here. So if you go to settings, you go to system preferences, you go to keyboard, where is my keyboard? Here it is, keyboard, and under text, this works like that, it can expand. So if it replaces this with that, that's simple, you don't need to buy ATX for that. If that's all you want, that's available. But ATX goes way further than this. So let's just say that I'm going to do more personalized a text. So let's just say hello and I'm going to insert. Check this out here in the bottom. I'm going to insert in this case a field. So hello and this is going to be called. I'm going to remember this It's going to be company name. All right. It's going to be a single line. It could be multiple line, a pop up menu or a number. All right. This is going to be single line default value edible. So let's close. All right. And then space. Hello company, and I'm gonna put team uh, and comma and just the whole message, right? That's what I'm gonna do. So let's try this out. So again, four times K, one, two, three, four. It expands, but this time it opens up a box. Now this Apple doesn't do. 
Now, now I have this little box right here. And for example, if I find a site I want to send a proposal to, this makes it more personalized. So let's just say um, this is the SaaS master, right? SaaS master, that's company, all right? And let's just say, hello, SaaS master team. And just click OK. And boom, it expands the whole thing. Remember, we had all this already. So I personalized it by adding this. And we can do a whole lot with it. So for example, we could do another field right here. So this could be, let's just say you're doing a su support, right? So my friend Kevin, that he recommended me this too. He does support. He does, I think, airline support thing. And he needs like the ticket number and several things. So for example, I could add another field right here and I can name it something else like uh, ticket number, right? And we can use that. And now we have two fields. So let's just say I'm writing the whole message right here and I continue the message and then again, I need to use the ticket number, right? So I don't want to type two times ticket number. So I'm typing again and then there's another field right here and we're going to call it same thing, ticket number, right? So let's close that and again, let's do, let's remove all this, four times K, one, two, three, four and we have the company name. SAS master, the ticket number is uh, flight PK444. And did you see, I didn't have to type it again because it knows it's the same number. So I'm not wasting time. I don't, I don't need to do it twice or four or five times. Click OK and boom, it added it here and added it here, just like I have it over there. Remember, these are the basic ones. We could do even more. So for example, if we wanna insert by default the date, that's possible right here. And there's different type of formats of date right here. Now we could set these dates also with a secondary format to say, you know what, um, use four days after this or three days after that. So for example, I'll use a short date and the value is gonna be, for example, today, as soon as I write it and as soon as I do it, it's gonna write it. It's gonna be next, previous, or based on another edible field. So you have a lot of options with this. You got year, month, day, even languages and the preview of how it's gonna look. So that's the date. Also, we can insert time. So if you wanna add the time, maybe for a certain, for a ticket service. So I responded at this time, or three hours after, or three hours before that, and so on and so forth. Also, we have the snippets that we created already. We got key fields. These are really cool. Key fields are, for example, if I write something and that the, the place where I write it, it doesn't let me put like enter like the next field. So it doesn't, for example, I'll show you this right here. So for example, this is one line, this is second line, this is the third line. Maybe it doesn't like, it, it doesn't receive it. So you can add keystrokes right here. So for example, this can be an enter keystroke. So it's going to be enter. And for example, we're going to do, it could be with a command, with control, with options. So for example, let's just say you are doing this for a password field. I'm going to show you that. So for example, let's erase all this and let's just say this is my email, all right? This is my email, blah, blah, blah. All right. And when I'm, when I'm finished doing this, I want to insert a key. So in this key, is going to be tab. So you could use this to actually log in really quick and really easy. All right, let's close. So that's the enter key. And when the enter key is inserted, it's gonna put in the password. Let's just say that's the password, all right? So remember, there's no enter there. That's just a straight line. So let's try again. KKK, okay, okay, okay. let's remove it. One, two, three, four. And then, oh, sorry. Something must have gotten wrong right here. And this is it. I, I selected tap. Because I'm I imagining this, I am doing it on a website, right? Where it, uh, it uses the email, then tab, tab, and then it's password. In this case, we're going to use enter. All right, so it's key field, and it's going to hit enter. All right, so let's erase this again. And four times K, one, two, three, four. And there, it did it by itself. It put in the, the email, and then I put, it put enter by itself. So in this case, if you were doing it for an email, obviously it would, it depends one tab or two tabs, depends where you want to use it. So for example, it's going to be tab. All right. And then it puts a password and it's going to do Q or it's going to be tab again. Oops, tab. Whoops. That's a Q tab close. And at the end, it's going to do enter. So just imagine this, you're going into a site, 
you're gonna use this key code, all right? And it's gonna put in one, two, three, four. It's gonna do everything for you. It's gonna put the email, it's gonna do tab, so then it puts the, the password, it's gonna do tab again, and it's gonna hit enter. So it's gonna log in automatically. So it saves you time. There's a bunch of use cases you can use with this, and there's more to go, hold on. So obviously you can do the keystrokes, but then you got also fields, we you check that out, and we got clipboard if you wanna use something you already pasted, so you can do more with that. You can insert an image, you can use the cursor also. So for example, if you wanna use cursor, that's also available. We have format, so you can do the font, text, reset typing style, show inspector, and all of that good stuff. So it just depends how you wanna use it. Now, like I said, these are the basics where you just type it and it puts it automatically. Maybe you don't want that. So for example, maybe there's a word that you spell constantly that's four times K. I deleted that, right? So let me put it again. So it's four times K. Oh, gotta update it. All right. <clears throat> so it's four times K and you know what, the word is actually, it starts with K, 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 four times K. You don't wanna do that, right? So in that case, you don't use it by plain text. So I'll just remove this one right here. Hold on. And delete it, okay? We want it to expand after pressing space or enter. So this changes everything. So for example, a brand new one. In this case, we're gonna do the same thing, four times K, and we're gonna write something. So what's gonna happen? Let's just say I write four times K, it's gonna stay the same and I can finish my word and nothing happens. Now this is something you might need. So nothing's gonna happen unless I do four times K and then I hit space or enter. One, two, three, four, and I hit space. See how that changes everything? So you can do that also. You can also expand with arrows. You can expand date and time variables. Example fields, those are already there by by default, when you buy it, so for example, it gives you those fields right here, something that you could use. Like I said, you add your whole phrase, your whole proposal, or whatever you want. It can save you time to write pa your password, your email, your a bunch of stuff. So for example, I use it if I hit twice these, I get my email, right? Or well, let's just say I'm gonna type a website, I do HTT, and it writes the whole thing, and I just do the website, so I don't have to write every single thing. So just HTT, I know I'm not gonna write anything like that. I mean, the words don't start with that. So that's pretty cool. You can do that and then write your, your whole sentence right there. I also use it for my YouTube channel. So for example, USAS, and I got my website. You gotta get used to it because at the beginning, you forget that you have that there and then you don't take advantage of it. So it, with time, you start using it. You got example scripts right here. So for example, you could go way more complex with that. I am not, I don't use it for this case and I haven't checked it out, but you could do that also. You got random numbers available. You got system symbols, institutions. And I use these for example in Spanish. So for example, I'm using English right here. So it's pretty cool that if I write, for example, this one has this little letter and I'm using an English keyboard. So I don't have to write it again. So I just write it in Spanish, in, in English, sorry. So for example, and it, it changes it for me because this is a right. So in Spanish, it's called ñ. That's the, the type of, the, of that letter and I need it. So instead of doing it manually on my Mac, that does it automatically for me. So I keep adding right here in Spanish when I remember that I need to add something right there or a spelling correction and that helps me out. So this is basically the basics of a text you can go like i said really complex you can create formulas you can use it for so many things and use cases because it does the whole thing for you because i mean if using keystrokes changes everything using fields and keystrokes so using a text just changes everything for us because it saves us a lot of time so there you go guys that is a text if you found this video helpful please at least comment here on my video and give it a thumbs up let me know what you guys think and what you might be using a text for thank you for watching my name is george and this is sas master i'll see you guys later